joining us on the broadcast. Uh, he's of course a member of the BJP. Uh, PKD Nambiar is with us also uh, and Gyanendra Mishra joining us and Himanshu Bhatt. So, Mr. Nambiar, let me begin with you, sir. Okay. Now, I just mentioned all these various scams and scandals, you know, but 2G was the biggest thing. Uh, Kani Mori went to jail, back in parliament, A Raja went to jail, back in parliament and it's like nothing happened. I don't even know what happened to Commonwealth Games, you know, 10, 15 years back, it was the biggest issue in the, in the country. Can't really say what happened, coal auction, can't really say what really happened there. Even in Beaufort's per se, sir, or the arms deal scams, many, many arms projects that were cancelled in the past. Can't really say who other than some middlemen and lawyers, who really, which politician actually went to jail had to end their career because of corruption. Can you think of any, sir? Oh, well, that is the irony of the, our democracy and our judicial process, wherein uh, we may uh, end up having an accusation on an alleged corruption on somebody, but then the way our judicial system functions, which definitely have a long duration of and the process from the, uh, the, the small court to the high, uh, to the top court, the politicians do know the uh, way to keep themselves away or, or nothing else. There will be a heart issue or a health issue. They will be, they will not be going to the jail except in few conditions. Few or a few uh, play, places we may have seen in this last 50, 60 years. Maybe you may not be able to even count on 100. But whereas we know that there are thousands and thousands and thousands of cases, cor corruption cases are there across the country, whether it is from a panchayat level to the topmost level. Corruption definitely need not to say that it is the, the, the cancer uh, uh, for an economy, for a, for a country like us. And unfortunate, very, very, very unfortunate that, uh, that the people who were at the helm of affairs having power, even despite having power in everything which they wanted to have it in their life, still continue to wanted to grow more or continue to wanted to earn more or in a corrupt way. Like in this case, for an example, Robert Vadra, we all know that the famous Damaj, uh, Damaji and uh, Haryana, then the Mr. Huda, how they have uh, used their power to get maximum number of uh, uh, real estate deals, whether it is in Gurgaon, Faridabad or in uh, Sonipat in various areas. But it is unfortunate that nine and a half years we have been, uh, the, Mr. Modi is in power, but still there is no major action. There are actions which are taking place, even there are uh, some other people says that here, yeah, if you take an action, very strong action, so quickly, then then people will say that it yeah, is then, their then, political. Then, then you are doing witch hunt exactly. So th so there can be many. Reasons. So that is that is there. But in the meantime, it is important to know that somewhere this needs to be fixed. And all the people who are in the business circle, circle like the people like us, do know that there are a lot of these kind of uh, malpractices have been done. And the real estate has been one of the major area of Robert Vadra and the family. Could be, I, I, the I, the, could be, I don't know. Like I said, could, was he? But what actually happens? Uh, Rishabh, as I said, there are allegations from the point of view of just from the political point of view. There may be a lot of corruption charges have been alleged against each other. Like what you said in the case of Narendra Modi, people said that, oh yes, Rafael. Then they said uh, something else, something no, else. No, the Chokidar Chor hai was the biggest, biggest okay, Nara but, before okay. the last election. Okay, so it is, it is also to do with your credibility as an individual or a family or a political party. For an example, the Congress party has ruled this country for almost 55 to 60 years. And there is, a, there has been a, uh, the, one of the, uh, Congress was is equal to corruption. That kind of a template was made even for so many years, whether it is during the Narasimha Rao government, uh, of course, Rahul, Rajiv Gandhi, so we all know that the famous boffers to many other uh, uh, cases and violations. And the UPA 1 and 2 was all about corruption. So now the perceived corruption, like for in, in, in the case of uh, 2G, you may not be able to find the money where exactly it is, but it has been benefited from the point of view of a spectrum sale. The price of spectrum cannot be defined on from that, that time to now. That time the spectrum were only for the basic calls. That was a huge and precious and very, very, uh, yeah, very important thing. But today we are talking about 5G and all is a luxury. 
So that was a necessity. So the money was big. People have taken away. We all know that the uh, how many uh, uh, mines were given away in a throw prices to the people in uh, Jharkhand, Orissa, and in many other places, including Karnataka and Andhra. So I uh, corruption is okay. there. So let me ask you the complicated question, Mr. Nambiar. My one request. Yeah, please finish. Rishav, Rishav, I have a request to you. Generally, people uh, like the way you take up one particular issue and then you take it up. So in the same way, I request you to take up an issue that is the judicial speed speed in uh, the way the judiciary should address these corruption charges. There are some CBI cases and etc. CBI courts are there. But generally, the time the judiciary is taking is so long that also helping the political parties to tarnish the image of an another person or maybe if he has not done something wrong, then he is also in, in that... Uh, it's, a, it's a very fair point. Nobody cares. Oh, well, Rishabh, the, the bottom to top approach and the top to bottom approach somebody was mentioning. Here, one thing has happened in the last nine and a half years. We know that the Prime Minister and the, uh, the Union government at least, or even in the governments wherever BJP is ruling, there is a zero corruption, at least as a mantra they are trying to practice. I am not saying that it is all dood ka dula hua hai, and that may not happen in a society like us, or for that matter even in the US or in the European system, advanced economies also do have the corruption, but then to an extent, we have been able to uh, change that. One of the primary thing is that the direct benefit uh, transfer to the people. Correct. That alone has changed the way the our economic landscape or the, the way our welfare schemes have been reaching to the people. Even including the ration, if you ever go to a ration shop, you will not get a ration unless and until you yourself go and put your biometric. Correct. So quite a bit has been taken care, but there is much more to go. Election is something which is requires to have a corrupt pre. As long as the money is the the, the money is going around uh, uh, during the election time, the, the not in uh, lakhs of crores of money is transferred here and there, irrespective of the political party.